Hey, what's up everybody? I'm out on the grounds. It's a beautiful day. Uh, the clouds are coming in and the winds are picking up. Throw my gun out there. I'm going to use a gun today. And I'm going to jump in. And I'm going to swim up north. So as soon as I jump in, I notice the water is a little bit colder and um, a little bit more uh, murky. But it's still pretty clear. It's probably because, you know, the winds are picking up. And by the end of the dive, the winds really picked up, as well as a surge. So I'm looking at all the little fish around, and I thought, oh, if I had my three prong, I could have just three pronged right here. A lot of stuff. So you can see the bubbles from the small waves breaking. Swim past it, and I'm going to swim out into the deep. Notice that um, there's a lot of fish loading up my bands. Got a little slip there. And I'm pretty excited that. Um, I'm going to see some interesting stuff today. So I swam out and there were all these fish in midwater. And there are a bunch of Humu Humu Ele Ele, the black trigger fish. But then there were these other surgeon fish swimming in midwater with them. So I make a drop. You can see them all right there. It's pretty interesting. I was really looking for an Opelo Kala. And there were one or two in this school, but. Um, couldn't get close to them. So I don't know what kind of surgeon fish they are, but they're all like in front of me. It's like, get out of the way. I can't see. So there's some uh, munu down there, kind of tracking it. And literally, like these fish were like bouncing up against me. I could feel some just hitting me. I should have gone all the way to the bottom, but um, I, I tried to uh, get a shot off over there. But you can see, look at all the fish there. No shot. So I went back up to the surface. And I was having a little bit of a mask leak problem. I don't know what, what was causing that. So I stayed in the same area. And right now, I, I'm pretty much looking for just one fish for dinner. I forgot my kui too. So I make the drop. And my mask started leaking so I started to level off. Scanning the grounds, I see a munu out there. Tracking that, and then there's this Moana Kali there, but the, all these other fish are in the way. And when it finally came out, I hit it, but it ripped off. Bad shot. I really should have gone all the way to the bottom for that. I couldn't find that fish again. I really feel bad when I uh, wound the fish like that because that one's not going to survive. So it's kind of a waste. So this is my third drop, and I'm staying in the exact same area. So this is pretty much the limits of, of the depth for me. I have no idea how deep this is. I'm making my way down. And I wanted to land on that rock and shoot out. But I moved over, grabbing on this rock, shooting down. Just seeing what's out there. There are a lot of targets. So I'm tracking this Pualu. Kind of a nice size one. Take a lunge forward. Got it. 
It was a really good headshot, but it didn't even, you know, I thought it would, uh, you know, incapacitate it, but he was pretty much fighting all the way. So I go to the surface, bring it up, and again, I forgot my Kui, so I'm going to have to put the fish on the line. It's really, it's kind of a bummer because I had the Kui in my bag even. I just forgot to put it on. And there it is, a nice Pualu. Good headshot. So I didn't even damage the meat. So I'm braining the fish. Then I'm going to bleed it out. Because um, what I want to do with this guy is make some sashimi to eat with um, my dinner tonight. So I was planning on uh, making some tonkatsu, which is fried pork, and sashimi and some vegetables. So I got a nice pualu. Um, bleeding it out right here and I'm gonna put it on my line put my spear back in the gun and head back in just one and done so I'm making my way back in just taking my time I was thinking of uh, I did bring my three prong and I was thinking of uh, going out three prongy again but I felt you know I had I had I accomplished my mission one one fish for dinner and um, you know just take what I needed for today and actually this fish will uh, will kind of make uh, two meals for me because I only are gonna end up using uh, one of the fillets for sashimi because that will be my appetizer. So I throw my gun up. I'm climbing up this, on the rocks. Waiting for the surge to push me up. myself up. It was a fun dive. I hated uh, wounding the Kali, but I got a nice Pualu. Now it's time to go home and prepare it. So there's the Pualu. So I have my fillet knife and you see me do this a number of times. So I poke it in in the middle and I make a starting cut because I want to make sure I leave as much meat on the uh, on the fillets as possible, you know, so to get as close to the bone as possible. So I do both sides. Start the cut, and I'm pointed down, so it, I'm trying to drive the knife down in, into the into the ribs. And then put it through at the tail. Go out the back. And I'm going to use that as a little handle. And I'm going to slowly run the knife right along the ribs. So I don't know if you can hear it, but it'll go like tack, 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 tack. And then you know you are uh, have the right angle. This way you take as much of the meat off the bones as possible. So I go all the way to the center bone. Then push the knife through. And just pull forward. I'm gonna slice off the fillet. There it is. Perfect. Do the other side. Same thing. It's really important to watch the angle of your knife. Otherwise, you'll end up uh, uh, leaving meat on the bone. And then you can always scrape it off if you want. Go all the 
all the way to the tail. Push the blade through. Pull it out back to the tail and that's your hand hold. But right now I'm lightly running my blade on the ribs to separate the meat from the bones. Now I'm going to take the fillet off. There it is. Perfect. Okay. Now, since I'm going to use it for sashimi, it really kind of really doesn't matter. I want to make sure I clean the board because I don't want any grit on the on the meat. So, a clean paper towel. Make sure it's nice. The board's nice and clean. That's really important when you uh, remove the uh, meat from the skin. So there, just grab the end, that little kind of tag that I um, made. And I'm going to pull down on the skin and slowly rock the blade, angled slightly down, basically pulling the skin off. There you can see nothing left. Do the other one, same thing. Pull it all the way through and it comes right off. Again, clean your blade. So I'm getting a plate here for the sashimi and I flip it over so I can see uh, where the pin bones are and I'm going to run my knife straight down perpendicular to the board right along the pin bones. So those two fillets have no bones on them and now I'm going to separate all the cartilage and rib bones normally I would just cut this part off and the part with the ribs I would cook up but I'm not gonna decided not to do that um, today so I'm separating the pin bones out of the other fillet and I'm gonna cut the rib cage out going to feed those two sections to the animals. Um, we're not going to fry up fish tonight so um, otherwise normally I would just fry that up, batter it and fry it up. But the cats will get a treat. So I'm just going to use one fillet and I was using uh, my fillet knife to start but I decided to change knives. I didn't like the feel. Uh, it just wasn't sharp enough. So I'm going to use my main knife and I'm risking the blade against my fingers making nice thin slices. So the side of the blade is resting on my fingers and I'm just pulling the blade toward me so it's coming off in one cut. I'm trying to go as thin as possible because uh, these surgeon fish especially as they get bigger will get a little bit more um, tough but this is going to be perfect. So this will be my appetizer for my meal. And just rinse and repeat. Do it all the way to the end. So I'm going to use my plate and arrange the little pieces out. And there's my pualu sashimi. It's just going to be me tonight. So just enough 
for my appetizer and it's gonna go really great with a tonkatsu and hot rice well that's my one and done dive for the day with um, pualu sashimi thanks for watching please like and subscribe and aloha there it is